You said you loved me. I was your first character. I remember when you first submitted a picture of me onto the internet. You were so happy when you got a compliment on me. Granted, there weren't many. You weren't a popular artist. But that was all right. Because even one or two positive comments motivated you to draw more. I remember when you made a second character. His design wasn't the most original, like, I'll admit it, my own design. But you were happy. And seeing you happy made me happy as well. After some more positive feedback, you made another character. She was a little stereotypical, a bit of a Mary Sue, if you will. But no one seemed to mind, because you weren't bothering anyone, and you were happy. I'll admit it, I got a little jealous when you paid attention to the other two characters rather than I. But I got over it quickly, because I knew I was your first. I was number one. I was your favorite. Wasn't I, dear creator? You said you loved me. Time passed. You gained a little popularity. You made more characters. But you still loved me. With a little more popularity, you got some hate. Hate on some of your older characters, like me. But you still loved me. But people still hated. You were hurt, I could tell. But you still loved me. More time passed. People told you to shake off the haters. They're just low lies with nothing better to do. You said you were fine, but I knew a part of you wasn't. But you still loved me. But you drew me less. You gained a few more fans. You grew happier. You drew more and made more characters. You started to draw them more. Some just faded away, like your third character. Haven't seen her in a while. Have you, dear creator? But alas, you said you loved me. I believed you. Even though you hadn't said it in a while, I still believed you. More time, more popularity, more characters, but more forgotten ones. When was the last time you drew me? Hell, when was the last time you even thought about me? A week? A month? Dare I say a year? I've lost track of the time. It's lonely without your attention. I do nothing but wait. Waiting for you to think of me again. I am, after all, your creation. You created me. So I was in your mind. Always there, like all the others you've created. If you gave us attention, then we were happy. Because you said you loved me. But how could I be in your mind when you never thought about me? Surely I couldn't stay if I was no longer a subject there. Well, I'm not there anymore. I don't understand it either, but I guess you subconsciously kicked me out, and I faded away, like that other one. But then again, I didn't fade away because I'm here now. I don't really know where I am. Well, I don't really care. Life has lost meaning for me. But this place does feel familiar. 
then again it doesn't. It gives me a sense of yame vu, but as I look around, the feeling turns to that of deja vu. But that doesn't surprise me, because I'm your creation. I know a little bit about you, even if you don't tell me about it. I don't know how I know, but I know this is your house. I guess your neglect did kick me out of your mind. So, I'm in the real world now. There's something in my hand. I haven't thought about that in a while. I look down and I remember it. It's from the last time you drew me, countless weeks ago. Feels like an eternity. I remember it, though. I was eating. Cake or pizza or something. It's not important. But it was a knife. Not a sharp one. More like a butter knife, really. But I kept it. Of course I did. It was a gift from my creator. And my creator was precious to me. Anything can be a weapon. If you try hard enough. I walk forward a little. Trying to be quiet. I am a fictional character. Excuse me. I was a fictional character. And I don't look exactly plausible for this world. Your world. I continue. And I see a door. It's your room. So I walk to it, and I open it. I can see you now, at your computer like usual. Can you see me? Probably not. Why would you see me? You haven't thought about me in such a long time, dear creator. It doesn't matter though. You wouldn't notice me if I yelled. So I draw closer. I can see you have a drawing. It's set aside now, because you're reading something. But this drawing is one of your new characters. Did you tell them you loved them? I draw even closer. I'm right behind you now. Can you see me? Can you feel my presence? Are you finally thinking of me again? Of course not. I draw my arm back, the one with the knife. I just want you to think of me again. You don't love me anymore, dear creator. Have you ever loved me? I prepare to swing. There are tears in my eyes. I'm weeping silently. Because I loved you. And you told me that you loved me, but you lied.